a cop. Where do you go? He went downstairs, officer. All right, George Tillman, thank you so much for uh, talking to us at Black Tree TV, Black Tree Media. Um, so, Faster, I saw the film and it is, uh, I, I'm a fan, it's great. Um, normally you're known for the uh, Soul Food, um, Man of Honor, some other great films, um, which were more narrative driven. Mm -hmm. And Faster is more of an action, well it is an action mm -hmm. film. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like this is a departure from what you normally do or? Yeah, I feel like it's something different, definitely. We're offering definitely a lot of great action, a lot of suspense. Um, but one of the things I like to do, I like to have a lot of heart in my film, a lot of heart, um, a lot of great characters. And I mm -hmm. think at the end of the day, I love the story. Mm -hmm. The story is what really brings me to different kind of genres. And I believe as a storyteller, you should be able to bounce around and do many different things. But what excited me to do this film was working with Dwayne Johnson. Mm -hmm. um, and then after I got involved, Billy Bob Thornton got involved with the film. Um, what I love is just a lot of different elements. There's a lot of mystery, a lot of twists and turns, and I felt like it's another way to stretch the storytelling and to make an entertaining film. Right. Well, you mentioned the cast, and you have a, a really great uh, crew of actors, like Billy Bob Thornton. Um, yep. His character is just, uh, just layered, um, and uh, so you want to talk about how he came on board and how Dwayne Johnson got on board with this project? Well, I think, you know, when I got involved, Dwayne Johnson was right there already attached to the okay. script. I was very excited about that because I knew Dwayne from a previous project that we had over at another studio that didn't get made. So mm -hmm. we already had that relationship. So when we saw each other, it was about getting reacquainted and mm -hmm. what's each other's vision for the movie. Mm -hmm. But right off the bat, we knew we needed the cop, the guy who was on the driver trail. You mm -hmm. know, they got five days to catch mm -hmm. this guy. And I knew I needed somebody who has the elements of being a good cop, having the, 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 the layers that can bring all these different aspects mm -hmm. to the character. I met Billy Bob my first time meeting him. I went to his house, went down to the studio. We just, he got a music studio in his basement. We just spent the most time talking about music and just talking about everything else. Right. After I left, I just said, you know what? This is the guy I want to play the role. I don't really want to meet anybody else. Plus, I'm a big fan of Celine Blade and his past work. Mm -hmm. um, but once Billy got, got involved, it set the tone what kind of movie I right. wanted to make. Right. I want to put a collection of people together who you normally don't see together right, in a movie. Right. So that's why we got to a level with, okay, Tom Berenger, you mm -hmm. know, Jennifer Carpenter, Moonblood, mm -hmm. Carla Gugino. These are all a collection of people who are great in their own work. You kind right. of put them together. Um, you got a really interesting collection of actors. You also had the newcomer actor, uh, Oliver uh, Jackson yep. Cohen, who yep. was uh, phenomenal in this role, I, I think, and uh, he was English, I believe. Yes. How did he get on board with this? Well, you know what? At the end of the day, I was trying to find something, uh, his characters, the driver, the cop, and the killer. Right. And, you know, they all uh, represent different parts of life, different age range. Mm -hmm. And I knew I wanted a younger guy, and I, fed, mm -hmm. and I saw a lot of different people. But, you know, it was something, was, he came with the most freshest, interesting take. Mm -hmm. um, I never expected the character to be English. You know, but at the end of the day, I just thought he was bringing something of a young kid who's trying to achieve, always trying to do better. And here he is, a guy who's a contract killer. He just brought a fresh new take. So I had to be, you know, just really realize he was the guy. I put him in a room with Dwayne Johnson. I felt like, okay, if you're going to compete against Dwayne Johnson, I want to see if you're not going to back down. Right. Is he going to intimidate right, you? Right. He held his own. He did. Um, and I did. And put him in a room with Maggie Grace. Um, who did a lot of great work in her past, and um, they had the chemistry. So he proved to me that you can't take a chance on a newcomer, and he delivered, and he wasn't afraid to be in the room with Billy Bob Thornton, or afraid to be in the Love What's you, man. Going on? Oh. How you doing, man? <laughs> Good to see you, man. Good to see you, I'm man. a big fan of your work. Oh, oh man, yeah? I love you, man. All right, man. I love you. <laughs> Dwayne Johnson to make a special appearance. I love you, George. As we, as we sing his praises. I love praises. you. <laughs> 
<laughs> that was great. I like yeah. that. That's right here on Black Street TV. <laughs> so um, you also had Mike Epps yes. in this film, who had a, a sort of a cameo role, yes. but definitely made, a, made an impact. What was that working with him? Because he's previously done a lot of comedy. Yes. Right? It was interesting with Mike, Mike Epps. I knew him from a previous movie. Um, I knew his work a lot. So the main thing with Mike Epps is like, here's a chance to really bring a dramatic, you know, av area, you know, avenue to the film, but right. also humor. And yes. one of the things what I did with Mike Epps is, you know, let's try to do something. I was trying to contain him, first of all, when we were doing the movie. <laughs> I just couldn't stop myself from laughing throughout right. all the takes. Each take, me and Dwayne yeah. were there, okay, well, so let's try to get through a take without laughing. Did he know? do some ad-libbing? Did, oh, did yeah. Mike oh, Epps? Yeah. I, I think I, the, 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 there was a moment where I, I sensed like that. that yeah, you can't, you, can't, you can't keep him still, <laughs> right. you know. And that's the, that's the kind of actor that you want that person For that. to go and do yeah. what he does. And what, one of the great things about it is that he really, again, the collection of actors you would never see these different actors in the same kind of movie, and that's the kind of world that we're trying to create for Faster, and Mike Epps did a really great job in really fitting in. A daring and difficult Let me call you right back. Yeah. You've been a bad boy. I want the other names. The price just went up. It took me 10 whole years to track down these people for you. And now, I want to renegotiate. Okay. That's what I thought. You're playing ball now. Hey, get... The price just went down. This here's my Samoan friend. Ultimate fighting champion over in Guam. I know what that is. I know who you are. Brother, I ain't got no beef with you. Big pineapple eating Here, I owe you a refund. Here you go. 